Welcome back to another canon flashback where you're taking a look at X-Men Origins Wolverine. Directed by Gavin Hood. Don't even remember who the hell this guy is. Um, yeah, so this was coming from 2009. Alright, so forgettable, I don't remember the damn year. Um, but it is a part of X-Men canon. In the movies, maybe? I don't know. I don't think anyone knows by now. <laughs> Terry, what did you think of this movie? Um, we were just talking about it. It's been on a lot and on FX. And I've seen it more times than I've wanted to. What about you? Yeah. Uh, this movie sucks. So... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't see it in the theater. I, I don't even remember knowing about it, really. I mean, I, like, I heard it, but then I was like, wait, Wolverine? Like... Once I heard it was in the past, I kind of didn't care. Like, I'm not really for the prequel action, at least with the X-Men series. So, I waited till it came out, and yeah, it sucked. It, Absolutely. <laughs> it, it was like, it just sucked. I don't even like, the, the part that I really could not stand, we'll get to the later part, but once it got to Gambit, I like had to stop watching. Oh, yeah. I was only halfway through the movie, and now I watched the other half another time because I was like, "Yeah, no, this is trash." So, yeah, <sighs> uh, it had a lot of big names in it. Uh, Leaf Shriver, obviously Hugh Jackman, Will I Am for whatever damn reason. Cool. Uh, uh, what is it, Taylor Kitsch? That was uh, yeah, Remy yeah. Lebeau. That he just rubbed me the wrong way as Remy. Um, <laughs> It could it maybe it wasn't him, but it probably was him. <laughs> I don't know, but um, yeah, uh, every uh, there was a lot of stuff wrong with this. They didn't have enough, obviously didn't have enough money for good CGI. Um, they came out with a bootleg version, I remember, <laughs> uh, and the regular version didn't look that much better. And it's that's saying something when that comes out. But uh, yeah, Hugh Jackman. He was a, he's always good as Wolverine. Can't I'll play, give him that, can't, yeah. can't I'll... bash him. And and Shriver was good too. I love Shriver. Um, but the direction of the story was so muddled and just not there. Weapon X. Ryan Reynolds was in it for all of ten minutes, I think. And that that wasn't even him in the yeah. Deadpool suit. I mean or it, it was it was good the first 10, 15, 20 minutes or so, I'm not yeah. even really sure. Uh, I know the opening scene. Thing. Well, the opening scene where it was like Wolverine and it's, I almost called him Cyborg. Wolverine and Sabretooth going through different wars. That was really cool. That was good. It was like the opening scene. I'm fighting and the wars kept changing. I was like, okay, that's cool. And then it, they kind of opened up when they, I think there was somewhere in the jungle or something. Yeah. And then you saw the group of Wolverine, Sabretooth, uh, Deadpool, and Will I Am, whoever his character was. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. I like this. They have this group of uh, setting up a story. You basically. know, they have this group of mutants that are I don't even know who they're working for though. I'm guessing the U.S. government. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, whoever uh, Striker. Yeah. Was Striker in it? Yeah, he was in it. Yeah, see, I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, I liked all that. And then I liked... It was kind of like we saw Magneto in um, X-Men Apocalypse, where he had a family, because Wolverine had his own family. Oh, yeah. Had a little wood cabin or whatever. And then him and um, Sabretooth go to blows, and yeah. that gets messed up. Yeah, it was very muddled. And I don't think... Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know if you know, Wolverine ever had bones for claws before he had the animanium. Didn't they just give him the animanium and then he gave him claws? You mean in the comics? Yeah. Or in the... I, not that, I believe so. That he had bones? No, I think oh, that they, they just, just gave, gave him the claws. claws. Yeah. I would think. I think people had a really p real problem with him just having bones. Yeah, it was yeah. weird. It was. It's always weird when he doesn't have metal claws. Um, yeah, so that was another... Thing. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Who was yeah. watching? <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. And uh, you know, this didn't really help the universe at all. Oh no! It's just it a very. Me. It's a very. Uh, well, the whole universe as a whole is pretty messed up in a way for the X Men. Um, so yeah, this didn't help its cause at all. Trash. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I, let, there's let, not much. Let's talk about the monstrosity. Come on. Uh, come on. What we talk? Oh, the, the Deadpool. Oh, crap. Deadpool. Yeah. 
Uh, what? What was that? You know. sold his mouth shut. You gave him this. You put the swords in his hands. He could tell, like, what? Yeah, it was pretty. I, oh my! I. I don't even. I think the only thing that saved that was the little reference in the actual Deadpool movie. Now the... we know how well Deadpool did afterwards and making fun of himself. But at the moment when this movie came out, good lord, if you did not just like Face palm. you just killed off the franchise. You pushed so many fans away. It took Days of Future Past to really win everybody back. Mm -hmm. And now with the actual Deadpool, they're back. But good lord like what what do these executives smoke sometimes when they sit there no 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 no, no. instead of making him funny work with the mouth let's zip it let's sew his lips shut and he has swords put that in his hand like a terminator and it just comes out like this and I'm, what and Somebody with a big paycheck just like yes. Yes. That sounds good, sir <laughs> yeah. And then we threw Scott Summers in there was um, he? Yeah, he was in there. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, everything's kind of just messed up. Um, and then we had the awesome cameo by a f almost, I think, fake Patrick Stewart as Charles Xavier at the end of the movie. I see. I didn't even watch that far. In, <laughs> in front of the most obvious green screen. And so that took place in like the 60s or 70s. So if you put it up against the timeline of, uh, of uh, First Class, that's 10 years. And he looks as old as he does in the original trilogy. So, uh, come on, Fox. All right. So, um, I want to get this over with. What do you give it out of 10? Oh, God. A F. <laughs> uh, I give it a... I'll be generous a three. Three. Because I like the first 20 minutes. Yeah. there's good. It has, a good, it has its okay parts after the before the 15 minutes. Um, mm, I want to say four. I'd almost give it a five, but that's not, it's not there yet. The ending's okay, though, with the bullet to the head and walk as far as you can and keep on walking, if you remember that part. I don't remember anything from yeah. this movie um, sucks. So yeah, we, uh, three and a four. Hope to God they never make, hope to God uh, the next Wolverine oh, is yeah. not oh, man, Logan. anywhere near that. Which I don't think it will be. I think it will actually be really good. So, that is the flashback for this week. Don't forget to tune in next week as we take on... Uh, I don't remember what we take on. Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2. There we go. So, tune in for that, and don't forget to watch our other flashbacks. Have a good weekend.